These medical students were just children when pro-Russian separatists seized their hometown in eastern Ukraine. The war-scarred city of Donetsk has been at the center of a conflict for nearly a decade. The disputed region is recognized by the international community as Ukrainian, but it's under the control of Russian-backed separatists. It's still dangerous here. It's scary because throughout my childhood in Donetsk, I heard the war, shelling, tanks rolling around the city. When my friends and I went out for a walk, which wasn't often, this is what we saw, tanks driving along and people carrying weapons. These damaged and bullet-strewn homes in the industrial city are testimony to a wider conflict that's claimed an estimated 13,000 lives. Donetsk has been under an overnight curfew for eight years. It was recently lifted at weekends, but students say the city is a ghost town and that the war has robbed them of both hope and prospects. I'm tired of the situation. The conflict is senseless. It's not even clear why the war is still going on. It's like some kind of endless conflict. Growing up here was certainly stressful. It was a bit scary at first. But then we somehow got used to it. Now explosions, shootings, it's become so ordinary, familiar even. Only a handful of companies do business here. There's one bank and one mobile phone operator. You can leave to go abroad for a holiday, but you need to collect a bunch of documents, and it's not guaranteed they'll let you out, and then it's not guaranteed they'll let you back in. With travel to Ukrainian-controlled territory all but impossible, many see Russia as the only route to escape. Others remain resigned to life under the long shadow of war.